guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here today I'm going to share with you my tips my tricks how I curl my short to medium length hair using the shark flex style flex styler flex style you know what I mean I got this thing for Christmas it was the only hair tool I took for my three week long big holiday trips um, and I have grown madly in love with it so I wanted to share with you because I see a ton of people mostly with like really long hair showing videos on this and that's fun and all but maybe you've been wondering if it's worth it for your short to medium length hair and um, I was myself wondering that for a very long time and I can say that I think it's worth it and I can tell you some tips and tricks on how to keep it to stay okay so I hear everybody talk about products and those are important and I talked you through the products that I use like hair products, styling creams and such but I think the biggest key is truly remembering what kind of styler this is. It is not a hot tool. It is a blow dryer. So it is locking in, sealing in that style with the power of wet to dry, drying your hair instead of from cold to hot. So really think that through. I'm gonna walk you through my tips and tricks and how I have mastered this thing in my opinion. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so. First step, I want to talk about products, okay? Because I think the major misconception is you have to use a ton of products for your hair to stay. Which, yes, you want to use the proper products for your hair type um, to hold this style if you want it to hold for a while. Which you probably do. So I'm going to talk through some of my favorites. Talk through the ones that I think are necessary and the ones that I don't think are that necessary. Um... So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing I sprayed on was the Kenra Blow Dry Spray. It's my favorite. It's a heat protectant and it helps keep my hair nice and shiny. And it also makes blow drying go by faster. So I really love that one for um, my shark. So I brushed that through. It also just like seriously makes my hair so much easier to brush through. I use this no matter what I am doing with my hair. So, it's on. And you really wanna make sure that your hair is thoroughly brushed, brushed through. Okay, next step. This product is not like necessary if you have thicker hair or you're just happy with the density of your hair. I love this, this Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray. It helps, what it says, it helps prep for lush blow dries, which I agree. Um, it kind of just gives you a boost of volume and feel like a thickness to your hair. Now, I do think it helps hold my style, um, but I would imagine that if you have thicker hair, your hair holds it better than with sitting here. So, you don't need it, but I recommend it if you have thin hair. So, put that on and then brush that through. All right, next product is going to be the some kind of mousse. I don't care what mousse you use, but even if your hair curls pretty easy when it comes to like using a curling iron, um, I would still recommend something because it's gonna kind of give your hair like a an instant set versus if, you, if you're gonna put them in Velcro rollers or pin them, maybe you could omit this, but I always think it's necessary. So put it in, putting just a little bit of mousse, I use the big sexy one, not much, okay? Just a little bit run through really the links. I find that this one doesn't leave my hair too sticky or like too stiff, so I like it. I know it may seem like I'm using a lot of products, but I told you, you don't need all of them. You really only need a, I would say, a heat protectant of some sort, and that's even debatable in my opinion, and some sort of like mousse hold. I do really love this though, I've been using this a lot over the past month or so this is the JVN blowout styling milk so I just do about literally like half a pump not much this just adds some shine and helps with any like frizziness not that I get super frizzy but I also feel like it helps if you deal with static in your hair um, because of too dry hair not enough moisture I think that this helps so I just run that through like I very I use it very sparingly okay so products are 
on. Like I said, none of them are necessary besides a heat protectant and some sort of mousse situation. Okay, we're good. The biggest thing that I see people deal or like do with their air styler is wait until their hair is like 99% dry, okay? My hair right now is probably like, I don't know, 60% dry, 50% dry. Um, and if you have thin hair, you want your hair to be more wet than you think you do. Because think about this, an air styler, the only way that it is curling your hair or blowing your hair out is from taking wet hair to dry hair versus a traditional curling iron, which is taking dry or um, straight hair, <laughs> sorry, versus a curling iron, which is taking cold hair and moving it to hot hair. So think about that this blow drying tool is not setting your curl or creating your curl with heat. A little bit, yes, but not heat. It's really setting it with the thought process of wet to dry. So that's a big thing that I think I see. A lot of people, especially if you have like fine hair or whatever the case may be, if your hair is not pretty wet, then you're styling dry hair and you're not gonna get a good result from it. You might as well just use a curling iron, okay? So that is what I think a lot of people like deal with. So I don't even use anything to dry my hair beforehand. I put my hair in a microfiber little towel let it set, put some product in, and then start separating. And if a piece is too wet before I go to curl it, then I go ahead and dry it a little bit. If it's too dry, make sure you have like a spray bottle of some sort to just make your life easier, to make the process easier. So let's go ahead now and start separating whatever works best for you. I have pretty short Whenever I say I have short hair, people are like, you have medium hair. Okay, well, it's still it's still pretty short, okay? <laughs> so I like to take the top and I like to do one side at a time also. And I'm gonna flip her over and I take just some little metal clips and go ahead. You want to do, think about separating your hair like horizontally because you're gonna be grabbing vertical pieces but you don't want them too big. And I really don't curl a ton at the bottom because at the end of the day, my hair is so short down there that it really doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't really hold the curl down there anyways. And because your hair is short, I feel like the top layers are all that really matter. So I do split my hair into about one, two, three, four sections. Even though I have thin hair, I have a lot of it. So you still want some dampness to your hair. You don't want a ton of dampness at the root, but you want some dampness still on your hair. Okay. Next, you want to pick the curling iron. It says left, right, whatever. The curling wand. Okay. I always have my settings on the highest um, airflow and the midi medium heat. I go ahead and grab a section. You'll know if your section is too big. Um, and then I hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds, depending, and then hit it with the cool shot for another 10 seconds and then let it go. So let's go ahead and get into the process. So I take uh, about a section that big, maybe like an inch, inch and a half. You wanna make sure, that's why we brushed our hair a million times, you wanna make sure your hair is brushed. I hold it like right in the middle release or turn off the machine and then release your curl. You can always set it at this point or just leave it. Um, and you will see that I get pretty ringletty curls, but once my hair is brushed out, it gives just a blowout look. I think the other misconception is this is going to keep this curl and it's not. It's truly a blowout and blowouts don't use really defined curls if you really think about it. So if you want this curl to stay like this, use a curling iron. If you want this to kind of like be a blowout, flowy, vol voluminous thing, then this is what you're looking for. So understand that it's not, you can achieve so many different looks with a curling iron. You can 
not achieve a ton of looks with this guy. It's truly a blow dryer. So let's go ahead and move on to the next piece and let's just keep going. Okay, so we have one side, the bottom done. In the back, honestly, you guys, I just kind of let Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> okay, once I'm done, I said it was something. Again, this is optional, but I like to set it because I feel like it helps stay a little bit longer. I just like this, this full, full volume texture spray. It's like a hairspray, dry shampoo, all in one. This side is still like, cooling a little, so let's wait for them to fully cool before we brush it out. But you're going to see that it's gonna go from like these ringlety sort of curls to just kind of like an overall like voluminous look, which is what I'm going for. And sometimes when I'm flipping my hair onto this side, this side gets a little wet, so I will just touch up these root parts if I need to, like I touched up my bangs. Um, yeah, so. That's not. Let's go ahead and brush out this one side. You can see it's starting to just give movement, but you're not getting the super curly curls. You can see I have some like under, some over, or some flipped under, flipped out sort of curls. You can see from this to this, I love it. Okay. I will say the really cool thing about this also is that you can kind of control the direction by smoothing it all into one direction. You can get the full flip it under, see, or you can take and flip it out. So it's super versatile. I like a little bit of both. Naturally, it will flip under for the most part for me, but you can see I have just one start of a curl so if your hair was longer you would continue with that curl if that makes sense but volume some movement flow and it will come down i mean obviously this is insanely poofy right now um but it will come down and i have just been loving this look you guys all right so you guys that's it that's how i style my hair i will say from start to finish it probably takes me about 20 ish minutes now i don't do this full thing every single time sometimes i'll just do small things sometimes the bottom of my hair doesn't even really need it because or i'll just like curl it under i'll do something quicker sometimes i will alternate layers and do just flip under flip out that will also give me a very similar look as well um but yeah this is it you guys this is how i do my shark on medium to short length hair. And if you are struggling with getting it to stay, if you are struggling with um, how long it takes you, whatever the case may be, I do recommend those products that I talked about in the beginning, um, specifically a mousse and a heat protectant. That blow dry spray is amazing. Like it gives so much good shine, but it also blow dries very fast. Um, and then the other thing is really ask yourself, is your hair damp? Because if it's not, it's not going to stay. So that's it, you guys. So I love the look I'm able to achieve. 20, 25 minutes is good for me because I don't have to blow dry and then curl my hair. Um, and I'm also not somebody who typically blow dries and then curls my hair in the same day. I'm typically somebody who will blow dry it and then curl the next day. So I can kind of get that achieved look faster, in my opinion, um, with that guy. So I do recommend this guy. I do recommend you get it. 
Um, if you can on sale, they always are having some sales uh, or use your Ulta points or something like that. I did get mine for a gift from Costco because in case anything happened, I knew I could return it at Costco. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in my next video very soon.